turn the key as far as it can go without starting the engine. So pretty much you're gonna put it in and you're gonna see the lights turn on. As you can see there, my lights turned on, the dashboard is um, lit up. And um, it says here, I don't have to push to start. Okay, so um, 10 seconds, note this first time. Plug the auto cow in, okay. All right, so do not touch any other pedals or buttons. So to take my foot off the brake, I don't want to um, mess up anything here. So I'll just be on the safe side, take off my, take my foot off the brake. And um, it says you will hear a chime. You will hear a few chimes when the car enters service mode. Note, the first time you plug it in, plug in the auto cow, it may take 10 seconds or so to turn on. On the auto cow, use the arrows to navigate to the tune tool and press the check mark button to select E1. All right, E1. Let's try that now. We're going to plug this thing in. All right, I have the plug here, as you guys can see. And then I'm going to find where this connects, which is like that. Yep. Not sure how far I gotta stick this in, but it doesn't really make a click. So I'm assuming that um, you put it in as far as it goes. I don't wanna break it. And I'm um, gonna put this into the port, which is down here. So let me go ahead and go forward over here. All right, so we're plugged in and the auto cowl is on and uh got a little message here this is not touch screen it would have been cool but hey all right so we're plugged in to use of this device indicates your acceptance of the eula eula license i guess and it says 1998 ef efi live we'll click here all right so what's next here? It says go to file one. You're gonna to go to tune to tools. It said tune to tools. All right, we're gonna click the check mark on tune to tools. As like I said here, you have a little paper here that gives you all the um, information. So we're gonna click on tune to tools. All right, so it says here to select F1. Tuning and press the check mark button. Select F1. Select F1, and then it says here, um, F1. Retune and press check mark. Re retune. If you guys can see that, retune. Let's let's see if we can get that to focus. Well, the first one says retune. All right, let me click on here real fast. I have it on autofocus. Okay, you guys can see it though. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna press retune. All right, I'm gonna select retune. As you can see here, retune. And then you have these two um, numbers that come up. One is for the engine, which is E80, and then one is for the transmission, which is T, T76. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the engine controller and I'm going to press the select button which is the check mark read tune file executing so it's reading it the auto cow will read the um, stock tune from the um, vehicle so what's going to happen now is um just going to wait till it downloads you guys can see there it's loading it once it completes you're going to turn the key off and press the X button, which is this button here. All right, it says retune file, read, completed, successfully, save. So we're going to turn the key to the off and press the X. It's going to count down to zero.
basically when it re um, reaches zero, you can proceed to do the same process for the transmission controller. Okay, cool. Read the attached controller. So what I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna turn the car on. Read tune and then do transmission. The T76. You can do the same process for the transmission controller. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna press T76 and it's gonna read the file. Okay, we finished the transmission um, file. Um, what it says here, um, once the process is done, turn off your vehicle and un unplug the auto cow. So what I'm gonna do here is unplug the car, I mean, I unplug the car. I'm gonna turn off the vehicle. I'm gonna press the X button. And then wait to a countdown to zero. And then we will take the auto cow plug it to the laptop and um, install it with the USB. All right, guys, that's just basically how you do it. You read the file off your car, you put it on the auto cow, and you plug it in the USB cable into your laptop, and then you can send the files to Bad News Racing. So. You're just going to drag and drop the files into the location of your computer and it's going to pretty much save it as a little backup of your stock tune. So when you drag and drop it there, you're going to back it up and they will reply to the base tune file shortly after that. All right, so we're going to disconnect this. Well, actually, I'm going to take it out. ODB. All right, so that's basically how you read a file and move the tune to your um, laptop um, files. All right, so, so far so good. Should be good to go. I have my computer here, and um, I'm gonna upload the files and send them to Jerry. Um, let's just see how we do that. Let me log in. All right, so, so we can go to the one that says explore. I have the auto cow here. And um, um, I'm using the Microsoft Book 3. So once the process is done, you just um, take the auto cow to your laptop and uh, plug it in via the supplied USB cable, open EFI Live Explorer. That's the one at the top of the face. So this cord here, you're gonna plug in an auto cow and the other end, you're gonna put it in the laptop. So you're gonna plug it in. Goes right in. Find your USB port. second here I'm going to plug it in all right so I'm plugged in the auto cow boots up displays a little message there and um, I'm gonna click the button and you can see the display shows the tune tools um, scan to and the diagnostics so what I'm gonna do is open up explore right here on the top and there we go, we're up and running. And now, as you can see here, let me back it up a little bit here. Just gonna back up. And maybe you can see that down here on the bottom. Can you follow this tracer here? I'm circling here. It's connected. This shows that the AutoCal is connected. So it's gonna say, um, Follow the menu options to update the firmware on your AutoCal. So if you get like a, a message saying that it needs to update the um, firmware, 
you click on it and you update it which I already did I updated everything before I um, started this video because I didn't want to run the risk of um, using up too much um, space for um, recording so once it's um, ready to pair once it's ready to go basically you're going to um, navigate over here to the read folder which is located here at the bottom you click that and you're going to see both of the um, files here one for the engine which is E80 and then T76 which is the transmission so both of those files you have to send to Jerry alright so what I did was I created a new folder here I'm going to name it White Wolf don't ask me why <laughs> but yeah that's what I'm going to name it White Wolf Tune let's go ahead and type that in Supposedly that's the name of my car. Not sure yet. I was trying to figure out if I was going to name it Bison, but for right now that's what it is. And um, press enter. And then I'm going to drag this one over here. Drop that in there. And it's going to copy it. And then I'll go to the other one here, which is the T76 transmission drag that over here put that in the in the folder white wolf tune and there you go so basically what I have to do now is take that file take those files and send them in the email I'm going to um, compose a email I'm going to send it to bad news racing and um, I just opened up the email and um, what I'm going to do here is, is um, type in the name so to the top here I'm gonna put um, data logs as you can see there I put data logs at I'm doing this pretty slow so you guys can get it at bad news I'm gonna I'm gonna type it exactly how they have it here on the paper racing. I'm doing this with one hand so bear with me. Bad news racing dot net. As you can see there I have that and then what I'm gonna do is <clears throat> I'm gonna put that subject stock tune Chevy Cruise 2019 and I should also add um, yeah just that and then this is I'm gonna take that out and then what I'm gonna do is add attachment or I'm gonna drag it drag the tunes over here so what I'm gonna do is um, minimize this put it over here to the side and open this folder minimize this and then I'm gonna drag it up here to the boom they both dropped in as you can see they're loading there and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to send a message, message like this hi Jerry here's my stock tune file warm regards and I'll put my name in and then I'll send it the tunes from White Wolf folder it's very simple it's very easy um, let's see what happens when I send it to him or if I get a return email 
and basically that's it so um yeah i send it over to him i'm just gonna wait for the replies check my sent emails go back into that over here i'm gonna go to sent and there's the two files I sent them to Jerry and um, hopefully we get a um, reply soon and um, wait for the email and we will install this onto the car. Losing time, then. I'm fading fast. I just want to make it last. Try to let go of the past. I close my eyes, embrace the blast. Sleepless nights.